Yes. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Harshita and everyone else. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so Moodle is the uh, first option you check, the last option, WebEx and then Moodle, I think, because Moodle is many times not working and it is also very uh, resource heavy. Uh, yeah. And recording we get uh, even uh, with only WebEx. 
and yes, of course, with Moodle and uh, if outside Moodle on WebEx, we take a session that recording is also available. So that is not an issue if uh, others are not able to uh, join due to network issues. We can have WebEx with the same link, same lecture. Pass on the WebEx link. As well. Yeah, okay. So I think the number has stabilized and uh, others will be joining as soon as uh, they can join. Yeah. So uh, we will be having uh, a discussion on the regression output we get. Okay. So when we regress, uh, when we run a regression on a software package, so we get output basically in two sections. One section tells us about the overall regression, overall regression model or overall regression equation. And the other section tells us about individual independent variables, how important they are. Yeah, that makes sense. Those two things are very much required. That makes sense. So let us look at an example with the help of an example, the source is same as yesterday okay source is same z statistics youtube channel the nice person has visualized these concepts very well so we uh, i am drawing upon uh, drawing on those visualizations to have a discussion yeah so before that uh, let us discuss hypothesis testing a little bit because we use hypothesis testing in uh, analyzing the regression output okay so uh, how can hypothesis testing be used in both the sections one we are calling it an ANOVA section where the uh, overall regression model is considered how good it is is evaluated and there is a variable section where each independent variable is analyzed how important it is. In both the sections of this regression output, hypothesis testing, the basic concept of hypothesis testing is used. Okay. While calculating, while analyzing the ANOVA section, let me uh, just so, uh, show you the sections. Yeah. So this is how a uh, output, regression output looks like. This red box, is the ANOVA section which tells us about the overall regression model and the remaining here at the bottom they tell us how important each of the independent variable is here there are three independent variables: latitude elevation and population okay so this is basically how a output of regression looks like we will try to see we will try to understand these numbers these headings yeah so before that let us have a look at hypothesis testing again so uh, what it does is how we use it is in the ANOVA section we uh, analyze the we compare the variance compare the variance of two sets one with the regression line all the models so in ANOVA section ANOVA section how good the model is good the overall regression model is okay this we are trying to find out here. So here we are 
uh, comparing the variation of two different uh, models, so to say, one with all the variables, all variables, and one with only the constant. वो रिग्रेशन लाइन में जो एक कांस्टेंट होता है ना जैसे 0.56 पॉइंट फाइव सिक्स प्लस टू पॉइंट सिक्स इन टू एक्स इक्वल टू वाई इफ दिस इज ए रिग्रेशन लाइन सो एक्स इज द इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल एंड दिस इज द कांस्टेंट सो इन एनोवा सेक्शन वी कंपेयर टू मॉडल्स वन विद ओनली द कॉन्स्टेंट एंड वन विद द एंटायर दिस थिंग एंटायर मॉडल okay if the variation in these two models are comparable we will see we will say that there is no use of this regression because uh, both the things have come from the same uh, source same data set whether uh, we include all the variables and develop a regression model with all the variables or whether we just use constants it is not making much of a difference so to do this to be able to infer this we analyze the variation in this model variation means how off it is from actual value how off from actual value actual data points similarly here also if we take only the constant how of that will be how of again the same thing how of this is from the actual value from actual value so we calculate those differences regression line we have constant we have and actual data points we have based on which we have developed the regression so we calculate those differences here from the regression line to the actual data points here from the constant to the actual data point and that variation whatever that variation is here and whatever that variation is here if they are different variation okay if different significantly different so to say in terms of statistics then implies regression line adds value or we should use this regression line okay so to compare variation in hypothesis testing what we were uh, doing we were comparing basically the mean yeah when we are using normal distribution let me change color says that we are getting deeper into this yeah so using normal distribution for hypothesis testing we were comparing the mean we were hypothesizing that the mean of the variable is this and our sample uh, value what we get from our sample is somewhere around this mean and we were trying to decide whether this difference uh, is significant or how probable this uh, a value this far from the mean is okay so we were calculating the z value using the z table to find out that probability similarly when we use variation and not the mean here we are using mean comparing mean mean okay now here we are using comparing variation so for that f statistic fits this model f statistic the graph uh, mostly is like this so it's not a symmetrical graph like normal distribution 
so we compare uh, the two means the uh, two variations here we will have a variation say f1 here we will have a variation say f2 okay so f1 by f2 this ratio this is called the f value this ratio we see how uh, significant it is whether we can have uh, this kind of f value so from f distribution table we see uh, whether for a given uh, number of variables involved so f distribution table will give us uh, the expected value of f given the number of variables involved when we calculate from our data given these many variables we have say f say f uh, hours just to say hours i will say fo whether fo is significantly different from the table value of f as we get table value for z from uh, z table we get a uh, value from f table also we get a, a probable value okay so suppose from f table we get a value this and our fo is this so we say that this these uh, variations are significantly different so then our regression line adds value regression line makes sense uh, is the basic concept clear we are doing hypothesis testing like we did with normal distribution which compared the means now we are comparing the variation actually we are calculating the ratio of this variation the ratio should be some value some value which is given in the table based on calculations if our calculated value is more than that then we say that these variations are significantly different this is the basic uh, concept or basic funda uh, you can say is this uh, is this much clear audible visible i mean audible visible okay so all of uh, most of you are there check 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 yes it's somewhat clear uh, but i think we if you take an example then we will it will clear more yes okay. yes 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 so in anova section this is how we <clears throat> analyze uh, we uh, use the hypothesis testing concept and uh, in the variable section okay let us uh, move on to the anova section then in variable section uh, i'll uh, discuss hypothesis testing again how it is used in the variable section then we will see so this is the uh, output again and we are focusing on the anova section the basic background we developed yeah yes so here the model uh, for the model these are the values for only the constants these are the values for just the residuals okay so here we have uh, these things so we are comparing with the model what is the uh, variation and with just the constants what is the variation okay so here we are doing that so that sum of squares uh, this model uh, sum of squares is that explained variation we saw yesterday this residual is the other part 
and this is the total this is the total sum of squares so although uh, how much variation is explained is not calculated is not given directly in the output we can calculate that so 439 divided by 1393 will be the percentage of variation explained now yeah it is not directly given but we can calculate like this 439 divided by the total is the variation explained uh, here this is 0 0.315 that is 31.5 percent of the variation our regression model is able to explain yeah. yes so and uh, this mean square is now the measure of variation this is sum of squares and this is the corresponding degrees of freedom here we have three variables uh, in the example yeah so this is uh, sorry <laughs> uh, let us have a uh, few seconds on the example so this is uh, the olympics medal tally these are countries these are countries and uh, there's many gold silver bronze they have uh, one and this is our total metals total metals is the dependent variable here number of metals number of metals and independent variable is the latitude that is the uh, about the country latitude of the country latitude longitude jo hota hai, position of the country yeah geographical position of the country average elevation from sea level and population actually here the log of population fits better it is found out so log of population is uh, taken you can consider it as population the other independent variable the third independent variable is the population so with these a regression model is developed and we are trying to analyze how good that regression model is yeah so that is shown here the three uh, independent variables and the data points which are taken are 21 here for the other part 21 is taken yeah. and we are trying to now uh, compare the variation compare the variation by calculating that f statistic so f statistic when we go to the table we will see that degrees of freedom of Data will be given on one axis, one uh, axis, and the degrees of denominator will be given in another axis. Let us see. Uh, actually, I should have uh, taken a F table, but it is available, I hope. Yeah, not only in books, but F table. Okay, F is not a good letter to search with, uh, I hope. Thing very odd will show up. Yeah. So this is how it looks. Yeah. So numerators degrees of freedom. Here we have three, and denominators degrees of freedom this much. And this is given for just one significance level. Significance level we have studied. In hypothesis testing, probably the last class on hypothesis testing, we discuss significance level. So for each significance level, there will be a different F distribution table. But significance level, fortunately, we consider only the common ones like 0 0.01, 0 0.05, like that. So they are uh, there aren't that many F distribution tables, as many as possible, but uh, only few selected significance level the f distribution table corresponding to only few selected significance level uh, levels are there so here we have this so degrees of freedom of uh, numerator is three degrees of freedom of uh, denominator is uh, 21 i think 21 or 23 yeah 21 so here we can see the value is 4.87 let us check whether 
Okay, so this is taken as 0 0.05. This is our table is 0 0.01. So F table. Is this 0 0.0? Yeah. Okay, there is some ad showing up, but it's okay. So degrees of freedom of numerator is on uh, this axis, uh, the columns. Degrees of denominator are the rows. Here we have three degrees of freedom and 21 degrees of freedom in denominator. Wow, 21 is conveniently missing. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this is odd. Yeah, but uh, we get the uh, somewhat near value. So degrees of freedom is three. So 22 ka bhi agar hum value le. So it is around uh, 3.05. Similar value we have 3.22. Yeah, so actual value is 3.22. If we search a little bit, uh, we will get a better F table. And But this is how uh, it is. Yeah, this is how the F distribution is used. So one variation with the model one with only the uh, constant or residual. So this is the value, okay, 3.22 is our samples value at 5% level of significance. Uh, it is significant, it is significant than uh, the, okay, yeah, so uh, 3.05 we got from table and 3.22 we got from the sample. Yeah, like while using Z table, we got a value, critical value from the table and we calculated a test statistic from the data. So here, this is our test statistic. From the table, we got 3.05, a little bit uh, here and there, uh, because 21 degrees of freedom exactly was not there. But still, if we take that value, 3.05, that value is lower than our test statistic calculated. So we, see, we say that our test statistic is in the rejection region. Yeah, rejection region like this. Yeah. Okay. So we reject the null hypothesis that the uh, variation in both the models are same. That is our null hypothesis. That has to become our null hypothesis, right? The alternative hypothesis is the variation in the two models are different. We are trying to prove that the variation in the two models are different. So our null hypothesis becomes the variation is not different. Okay. So here, as our test statistic is comes out to be in the rejection region, here it will be the rejection region. Yeah. From the table, we will get a uh, this value, critical value. And our value comes somewhere here, somewhere here beyond uh, the critical value. So we reject the null hypothesis that there is no significant difference between variation of these two models. So that means there is a significant difference between the variation of the these two models one with independent variables that is our actual model and one with only the constant so it makes sense to go for regression here so itni khichdi isi liye pakai gayi ki ye conclude kiya jaye ki regression model as such is uh, adding any value or not somewhat uh, r square value also gives us that impression but here through hypothesis testing also, comparing the variation in these two models, uh, we have checked that in a different way other than R square. R square also serves the same purpose in a, a little less robust way. And it is always good to verify uh, things in two different ways. Right? Right. <laughs> Understanding with you, we all might have heard about uh, the elephant story. 
five blind men and elephant you have heard that story right is it possible that some of you have not heard कोई बोल पाएगा कोई सुना पाएगा वो स्टोरी जिन्हें जिसने सुनी हुई है पहले क्या बात है यस आदित्य यू हैव हर्ड दैट फाइव ब्लाइंड मैन एंड एलिफेंट स्टोरी सुना है विवेक Vivek's initials are very nice. No Old sir. Nice one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the story is actually uh, very simple. So five blind men are put in front of an elephant. So then they are asked to describe what is an elephant. How is an elephant? So one blind man uh, touches his trunk. Yeah. Sound ko pakarta hai. To usko lagta hai ye to uh, kisi पेड़ के टहनी जैसा है हाथी मतलब पेड़ की टहनी हाँ किसी के हाथ में पूछ आती है तो वो उसको देखता है अरे हाँ ये तो झाड़ू जैसा लगता है झाड़ू मैं मारता हूँ सुबह तो ये जो है हाथी झाड़ू जैसा है समझ गया मुझे हाथी झाड़ू जैसा है तो आ, किसी के आ, कोई आ, हाथी के पेट के सामने खड़ा हो जाता है पूरा आ, ऐसे करके देखता है हाथ में रखे तो उसको समझ में आता है कि हाथी मतलब दीवार है बड़ी सी दीवार है मतलब हाथी हाँ तो हर ऐसे आदमी पांचों के पांचों अलग अलग पार्ट्स को देखते हैं और वो अपने तरीके से सही समझ रहे हैं पर हाथी को कोई नहीं समझ रहा हाथी को कैसे समझा जाएगा जब ये सारे एंगल्स मिलाए जाएंगे तभी हाथी को कोई समझ सकता है है ना तो ये एक रक्स है इसलिए अलग अलग एंगल से देखना और उन अंडरस्टैंडिंग को कंबाइन करना दैट इज सो इम्पोर्टेंट आई डोंट नो इफ या दैट स्टोरी व्हेन आई हर्ट आई फाउंड इट टू बी रियली ओके या ओके सो आई थिंक आई एम एबल टू कन्वे सम पार्ट ऑफ दैट स्टोरी प्रॉपरली या सो हियर आल्सो आर स्क्वायर तो है ही हमने वो देखा नाउ थ्रू hypothesis testing using the concept of hypothesis testing and comparing variance through hypothesis testing we conclude that it makes sense that in this case going for regression is adding some value okay this is the overall regression model part which we called the anova section anova section yeah so uh, to calculate variation uh, it is like this so sum of square errors uh, sum of squares you know how to calculate divided by degrees of freedom gives us the variation this sum of squares also gives an indication of variance but this divided by degrees of freedom gives a sense of average variation which is even better yeah that we can compare variation we can compare to find out the f statistic and here it is in the rejection region so we say that we reject the null hypothesis null hypothesis is there is no difference between these models when we reject that it means there is a difference between these two models and our regression equation is indeed adding some value okay so this is the anova part now the variable section so variable section Uh, is even better yeah even closer to what we already did uh, in normal distribution using comparing the means so here we are again using hypothesis testing and we are comparing the means so coefficient we got okay so from this table what will be the regression equation if i want to tell you uh, if i want to ask you if i ask you what is the regression equation <laughs> uh actually it is given given on the slide itself just below the table yes yeah. so as a jab aapko output dikh raha hai regression equation is this the dependent variables equals the constant which is this minus 5 uh, 54.52 plus 
coefficient of the first variable and two uh, the first variable coefficient of the second variable into the second variable that is elevation coefficient of the third variable which is population into multiplied by the population yeah. here the log of population is taken so this is the regression equation now we are not just satisfied with getting single value of these coefficients we want to have a range yeah regression perfect to hota nahi hai r square we are not getting one in fact if we get one there is something fishy going on so uh, still coefficient we got but what is the range of coefficients in which we would be confident that although our exact coefficient may not be correct may not be uh, fitting the actual value but there is a range of coefficient not the 0 to 1 or 0 to infinity but there is a, a specific range of coefficient we can give uh, the actual coefficient will be in that range we are say uh, 90% confidence or 95% confidence so this level of confidence has the same meaning as we have already seen in hypothesis testing level of significance hota hai uska complementary is level of confidence if level of significance is 0.05 that is 5% level level of confidence is 95% so here we are calculating that range the process is exactly same yeah fortunately uh, we have seen that before before this much before this session so confidence interval confidence interval kaise find out karte the in hypothesis testing yes so first we decide the uh, confidence interval confidence level say 95% so we will have 5% in two tails so 2.5% 2.5% in both the tails corresponding uh, z values we will find out corresponding critical z values we will find out or then we will convert the z values into in terms of the variable in consideration yeah convert the z values in terms of the variable in consideration okay so that is the same thing we are doing we have selected 95% confidence level so 95% confidence interval for this variable latitude latitude was one of the variable uh, if you remember in the example in the beginning of the class we discussed we saw latitude elevation and population are the three variables so in latitude variable this is the standard error that is the standard deviation and this is the t value that is the z value yeah this is the z value we can get for this value this value is should be uh, this far from the hypothesized value hypothesized value in all these cases is zero does it make sense hypothesized value of all these coefficients for each of these variables is zero why because we are trying to prove that there is a a uh, significant effect of these variables that is our alternative hypothesis there is a significant effect significant effect so what will be the null hypothesis there is no significant effect no significant implies coefficient is zero so here when we are using hypothesis testing the corresponding null hypothesis for each case is coefficient corresponding to that variable is zero making sense will to apply hypothesis testing in this situation null hypothesis is coefficient is zero and this is our 
coefficient from the sample we are trying to find out how far it is it is this far 2.77 standard deviations far from zero that is the null hypothesis value yeah. so how do we get this value 2.77 if we divide the coefficient by the standard deviation actually how do we calculate the z value yeah you spare you want to uh, give it some more thought so z value kaise calculate karte the t jo hai wo z distribution ka hi bhai hai hum dekh chuke hain z value kaise calculate karte the xi minus x bar divided by standard deviation yeah. so this is the z value so xi is this this is xi x bar is the hypothesized value which is 0 and standard deviation is this so effectively as all the coefficients hypothesis hypothesized value is 0 we will just divide this coefficient by the standard error to get this t value which is like z value only yeah so ye milega और इस सिचुएशन का करस्पॉन्डिंग 95% परसेंट कॉन्फिडेंस इंटरवल इज दिस सो दैट मीन्स फॉर द वेरिएबल लैटिट्यूड ऑल दो वी आर गेटिंग दिस कोफिशियंट वी कैन सी विथ 95% फाइव परसेंट कॉन्फिडेंस दैट इट विल बी बिटवीन between 0.129 uh, and 0.915 yeah who are can you interpret uh, elevation about elevation similar to what we did with latitude can uh, anybody speak out how do we interpret elevation from this table elevation ki value ka uh, kya kya ho sakti hai kitni hum expect kar rahe hain aur 95% sure hum kis range mein milne ki aasha rakh rahe hain yes शीतल स्वरूपा दिशा शशांक ललित ग्लैडविन केतकी इस केतकी एवं द नेम्स आई सेट केतकी इज आई थिंक द मोस्ट साइलेंट पर्सन सो फार इन इन दिस रेस्पेक्ट या so kita ki please tell us how do we interpret uh are are ye pehli aa gaya okay yes so how do we interpret about elevation from this table kita ki kita ki please switch off netflix <laughs> I am just uh, yeah taking a guess. Yes, Kethi ki, how do we interpret about elevation? Hmm. Z value also you can make a arrow. What is Z value here? Yeah. So this Z value is 
Yes. Okay. Yeah, may bull. नहीं बोलना है इस दिस इस स्ट्रेंज अवाइ दिस सिंपल थिंग करार भी डा चेक चेक यस या सब डिस्कनेक्ट वगैरह हो गया क्या देर आर नो मैसेजेस आल्सो no sir you are audible yes okay yeah so who will uh, give it a try how do we interpret this table to say something about uh, elevation the expected influence of elevation is 0.03 and we expect this coefficient to be between minus 0.004 and 0.001 yes with 95% confidence we are 95% confidence that this coefficient will be between minus 0.004 and 0.001 so that means interestingly that means the coefficient value of 0 is included in this range coefficient value of 0 is included in this range so we can interpret that this coefficient uh, is not that different from 0 so this is not a variable which should be included in predicting the dependent value okay uh, yeah so this much is there and uh, I hope uh, you understand what is p value p value kya hota hai p value humne define kya tha hypothesis testing mein p value was defined if not then we left out something uh, important so it is just a matter of definition okay so p value this what we were doing in hypothesis testing so this is the suppose significance level so this is significance level yeah so do uh sample key value are this is the hypothesized uh, mean h not mean yeah so the sample ki jo value aari thi so how probable it is in uh, normal distribution problem we have find, uh, found out that probability how probable it is to get a value here so probability in this region so this has a name this has a name every time we need not formulate the entire problem to specify what we mean so this area is called the p value a p value yeah so this is the p value here so p value is high means ye bicho bich kahi aa raha hai isliye itna area cover kar raha hai p value is low means it is very far somewhere here it is very far somewhere here and we should reject the null hypothesis that null hypothesis is coefficient is zero so p value kam hona yaha pe achhi baat hai matlab p value is far from the hypothesized value of zero so if p value is less that also shows that this variable is significant here p value is less here p value is not that much less for elevation so we should not include this variable again a population population ka jo bhi ho log of population has less p value so again 
यूज दैट कॉन्स्टेंट का कोई खास एनालिसिस तो है नहीं या कॉन्स्टेंट इज कॉन्स्टेंट सो दिस effectively completes our course on research methods so how do we uh, celebrate iti swaha something <laughs> yeah and yeah in in church i uh, want to visit a church and there is a church nearby very old church i think hundreds of years almost the same time uh, when coep was established almost क्या नाम है नाम में भूल गया इट्स एट अ वॉकिंग डिस्टेंस इट्स इन साइड अ यूनिवर्सिटी अगेन या विजिट द चर्च आई वांट टू विजिट द चर्च या मे बी ऑन अ संडे आई ट्राई या इन इन चर्च आफ्टर एवरीथिंग वी से आमेन राइट सो वी कैन से आमेन हियर एंड लेट अस सी वी कैन discuss few problems in the next session are uh, yeah that uh, session has started so you please uh, join that youtube session sorry yeah i'll close the recording and close the session so yes 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 ojas uh, please ojas and uh, everybody please